Hello, this is Temporal, and this is Brutally Honest Bandai Kids, and this is the High Grade Cosmic Era Rising Freedom Gundam. And uh, just a little short notice here, I'm not going to go super over the articulation, because it's kind of like the same of the Immortal Justice and every new Seed Freedom Kit. So, I'll just tell you what, you know, new stuff that it has, like, the, the specific stuff. You know, besides the double-jointed elbows and knees, and the double-ball-jointed, or hinge-ball-jointed head. And, well, let's get straight to it. So, got the rising frame here. I'll just tell you what I, uh... I have I did to it. So this took a very long time to build. I got this thing in February. It's August. So main reason these. Those are all painted. I didn't want to use any st single stickers, so there is not a single sticker on this kit. All painted up. So stickers will be all these lines. Oh shit. So it starts with all those lines. He's not he's not gonna stand, is he? He doesn't want to stand. Then we have the red in the back there. We have Um What else? Um I'll show you the back too. We have the red and the inside of those wings. Same things with, well, this guy doesn't want to stand. He's very back heavy. Same things with the legs. And a little panel, panel lining in there. I also painted the rail cans a bit. How they're supposed to be painted. And along with uh, painted for the, whatever these things are. A little navy color. Anyways, let's go over just how it looks basically. This thing looks very, very good with the paint. Um, the V fin, I cut off those little safety nubs. I accidentally just cut, I cut myself with that freaking V fin. It's, it was very sharp. It hurt for like three days. As it punctured my skin and I bled. Yeah, so it's very sharp. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go over the little articulation here. But I'm gonna take the backpack off because it's it's fucking back heavy. Anyways, I will not be showcasing the mobile armor mode since that's its own short. So and if you're wondering why there's no ha uh, his fist is gone. Or his open hand, it's because it's, it's on the beam rifle. Anyways, so I'm just gonna show off like you know we have this double jointed, ball jointed wrist, you know, and then the seat extra frame which has the ball joint which swings up about that much, you know, so you can get some really good poses there. We have this movement here, some really good ab crunch, and some decent back. We have some side to side, you know, and almost full rotation, full rotation, yeah, full rotation. Beam sabers, they don't move. Rail cannons, they go like that, and then you could just push them out like that, and just like that. Front skirts, you know, they're just on ball joints, so you get that much good kick up to the front. Double jointed knees. And I believe a C clip, C clip ball joint feet. So you get some really, really, really nice uh, rotation there. And this guard is on the ball joint as well. So that's like the articulation there for the Rise of Freedom for the actual mobile suit. Now let's go over the wings. Move this guy out of the way here. The wings are like this. 
you have rotation here, rotation here, rotation here. The wings can go up on the little thing. This moves like this. Rail cannons go up to get the nice looking pose. You just turn them and you get the pose like that. This is right painted and the little sight there in blue. And then you just flop them back over. And these things move too. This thing swings over as per the mobile armor transformation. It's pretty loose now, so I'd keep an eye on out for that. And these are the wings. They got some really good movement there. Get some the full burst mode, you know. Anyways, um, this kit, you know, it's it's sticker hell. It's probably worse than a lot of SD kits I've built, but you know, it's, it's pretty good though. Now let's get on to the good parts. We have the accessories. First things you saw were the beam sabers. They go out, they go in the hand. I'm not going to showcase them since they're, they're beam sabers. They connect to each other as well via the little, little things there. You see them? I know, I know you see them. Next we have the beam shield, which hooks on to the arm, like, like right here, you know, where that red part is supposed to go. Then we have... This, which hooks on just like this. And this is for the shield, which hooks on via a ball joint. Just like that. Next accessory is the beam rifle, which uh, is all painted up with a little Sharpie. Those are all supposed to be stickers. Didn't use them. Nice looking sight right there that goes under UV. Thanks to my Sharpie. And that's him all there. Next accessories are beam effect parts, which one will slide in through here, and the other ones. It's it's not the right shade of navy there, so that kind of sucks. I'm just slide into the little holes there. So I me me put them in there, and then I'll showcase them. They don't look bad. I'm pretty sure the Immortal Justice had them too. But I don't believe I showcased that in the review. So, that's what it looks like. It's very nice. It flies in there. You put like, hook it up to the action base, so then you can have it flying away from the mobile suit, you know? And, you know, that's about it. So, this will be it for this review. This kit is uh, very nice, except it's sticker hell. The backpack is a uh, main culprit, but it would probably look good without stickers as well. As for a lot of other reviews I've seen for this guy. And, um, well, he just looks intimidating with that Zeta inspired little face. And it kind of looks like a modern freedom, you know? I would showcase this next to the, the Freedom, but he's kind of a he's kind of a mess right now. So here's a here's a comparison with where is it? Strike Rouge. So he's about almost the same height, maybe a bit shorter, but that should be it for the review. I would, I would, I would recommend this kit. Just keep an eye for the stickers. There's, the sheet's like double the size of this guy. And, um, well, thank you for watching. This has been Temporal for Brutally Honest Bandai Kits, and I would recommend getting this kit. And goodbye.